how's it going everybody? Bert Bryan here. Today I'd like to share with you a seasonal brew that comes out of Terrapin Brewery from Athens, Georgia. Uh, just to tell you a little bit quick about the company, it's co-founded by John Cochran and Brian Spike Bukowski. Uh, to tell you a little bit about John, he is a founding member of the Georgia Craft Brewers Guild and is also a member of the Brewers Association where he serves on the Public Relations Committee. And Spike, he's the brewmaster and creative mind behind Terrapin Beers. Uh, he began home brewing back in 1993 and then went on to graduate in 1996 from the American Brewers Guild in California. And together these two men are shaping the craft beer scene in Athens, Georgia. Uh, the beer that we're going to look at today is called Muhu. It's their chocolate milk stout. Now, I've, I've had several different stouts. I know I've had coffee, um, uh, oatmeal, some chocolates, double chocolates, but I don't think I've ever had like a, a chocolate milk stout. Um, the, uh, just to give you a little bit of information about this, the, uh, the IBU count on this is at 50. If you don't know what uh, IBU is, it's uh, basically the International Bitterness Units that's put together to... Uh, it's basically to measure the bitterness in beer. So a lot of times your lagers are going to be way down in the you know one to ten range as not being very bitter at all. And as you go up to like say a pale ale, you're going to be a hundred because uh, those are generally looked at as being a more bitter beer. Um, the uh, malts that are used in this one is two row pale, flaked oat, crystal eighty five, chocolate, D H Carafa three, and roasted barley. The uh, hops are Nugget and Willamette. Um, it also contains Olive and Sinclair cocoa nibs, cocoa shells, and lactose, and it has an um, alcohol content of 6% per volume. Uh, on the side it says the Terrapin Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout proudly uses cocoa nibs and shells from Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company to give this beer its chocolatey great taste. Enjoy it till the cows come home. And uh, so this is really cool. Um, Again, I will have a, uh, a way for you to look at the label. I love the labels on these different beers. They've got just very creative and amazing artwork, and it's definitely really funny what they have on this one. Um, and, of course, this is, again, their limited release uh, beer. You can only find this one during the winter times, and I believe they recommend using this with, you know, your very uh, rich stews, you know, your thick and hearty meals that you're going to generally be making during the uh, winter time. But... Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Oh yeah, you get that sweet chocolate smell that comes off of it. <clears throat> and again, I'll have a link down in the description for uh, not only for Terrapin Brew, but also for uh, Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company where they get their chocolates for this brew here. But let's go ahead and uh, pour it here in the Pilsner and see what we got. Uh, typical with your uh, stouts, you've got the a very 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 dark beer but it does have a very creamy head to it a nice thick creamy head at the top mm. very smooth smelling beer again I'm, uh, this is another one that for me would probably be more of a breakfast beer dessert beer those kinds of things but let's go ahead and give it a taste and see It is a very smooth beer, but I do see why they have it at the 50 uh, mark for the IBUs. Um, what I think they're trying to capture with it is they're trying to, to pull out that uh, the bitterness that you get in the chocolate, that sweet bitterness that comes through in the chocolate. And that's definitely what I get in my palate is this um, very sweet and yet slightly bitter flavor. It's a, a nice, perfect mid. It's not at all too bitter, bitter at all. Or, uh, or under. Wow. And see again, personal preference, I've, I've not generally been a huge fan of a lot of the stouts I've tried. Now, having said that though, a lot of the ones that I have tried are um, mostly the European ones. I haven't really seen a lot of American craft beers banging out um, these different stouts, or at least I haven't had a chance to experience a lot of them. So far, I had one the other day that was uh, really amazing and smooth uh, using organic ingredients, and this one too is, is also very smooth. Um, I could see why with the bitterness it would pair very well with a, a very rich meal, uh, especially like they suggest with stews. Uh, anything hearty that you're creating over this winter season 
it's just a such a very sweet and uh, not at all thick in your mouth. It doesn't you know coat you coat your mouth incredibly. It's a very smooth drink. Mm. Wow, very very tasty. Um, yeah, again, I, I definitely look into these guys. I haven't had a chance to try a lot of their beers. I've had one of their pale ales. It's on their uh, year-round selection, and they do have a very impressive year-round uh, lineup of brews. You'll have to go check out their website um, and definitely see what all they offer. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a chance to go up to uh, Georgia sometime soon. I have plans to go see some friends up there that are part of the uh, Chili and Hothead community, and uh, hopefully, I'll get a chance to swing by this brewery and uh, take a quick tour of the inside of it. But wow, very, very tasty beer. I love how that chocolate just comes through. And again, it's just that nice, light bitterness. See, some people don't like bitter at, at all in their beer. Um, you know, it's like pale ales. It's, it's you're either a love it or hate it kind of thing. Uh, for me, I love pale ales, always have. Since the first time I've tried it, I said, that's great. Uh, the bitterness is awesome. Uh, you know, it's it's just, um, it's really good. And this is such a nice balance. Well, I don't want to talk forever in these videos, that's for sure. I've still got a good little bit here, but like always with my promise, I want to try to make sure I uh, finish this beer at the end of every video. So, salute, my friends. Very, very good. Again, uh, just an all-around smooth drink. Uh, I definitely would agree that, um, you know, with the company as far as what you could pair it with. Uh, for me, it's almost the end of the night. I think I might go have some ice cream and maybe pour myself another one of these uh, and enjoy it that way. But anyway, you enjoy the series so far. And um, I look forward to bringing you a whole lot more of these different craft beers. If you don't already know, uh, about all of these different ones and this is a journey we can go on together. I do have some knowledge in this area and uh, I am expanding and learning more and more as I go along doing these reviews and uh, as I visit some of the local breweries and talk with the brewmasters there and the bartenders. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Again, please join me on Facebook. I'll have a, um, a link down in the description. That's generally where it's the easiest for me to communicate with everybody. But again, throw me down a comment. Leave me a uh, you know, a criticism or um, whether, you know, hopefully it's constructive, you know, like I always say, please don't be a dick about it. But, uh, you know, definitely let me know what you think. And uh, if there's anything you'd like to see me do, like to see me review, please throw it down in the description. Uh, of course, I do take challenges and anything else. So just let me know what you got going on. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, stay toasty, my friends.